Good morning. Good morning. I'm about to make myself some coffee. Because I want some coffee. Woke up this morning with a smile on my face. Breeze made me some breakfast toast to scrambled eggs. If you guys cannot tell, I'm in a good mood because um, I purchased wall art for over the fireplace. <laughs> before you say anything, okay? Someone de someone actually DM'd me about a month ago and I had already been kind of thinking and contemplating about changing it because I felt like the black trim and just the dark tone overall was too much. Once I started putting together my bookcase, I wasn't as in love with it as I was when I was in the previous house. So, considering how much I spent on it, I was gonna keep it. But then when someone DM'd me and they were like, hey, you know, I wanna purchase one, but they won't ship to my area. I was like, they may not ship, but I do, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take it to go get wrapped. I'm gonna do like an overlay so you guys can see the new piece. Once I show you my current look of my living room, the piece will make sense. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna wait to overlay it once I go into my living room and you guys see the rug because my rug is here today. Let me fix my coffee so I can get my day started. I shared this before. What I have is the Cafe Bastello and it is the Cafe Con Leche. <clears throat> this is probably the only reason why I still have a Keurig. I do want to get the Nespresso, but the Nespresso has not <clears throat> come on board. This is pretty much all I drink. So as soon as the espresso can get the cafe con leche, and I don't want to have to get a pod and fill it up, but if I have to, I will. I think it was um, the user's fault, me. Cause my cure I only had it for like a week and it messed up again. And so I had to fix it. You guys, here's my rug. I hate that it's been raining today. So I haven't, um, the light in here isn't like super bright the way that I would want it, so you really can't see it. But I'm gonna go ahead and pan it down here so you guys can see the color. So I'm gonna grab my camera so I can do that. You guys, here's the rug. The color is incredible. So I wanted to kind of show you really quickly, which I think I'm gonna flip it the other way because when you take it and you go this way, you can see the colors. You see that a lot more when you take it this way because I'm gonna show you. So this way here, you see the bit of the shimmery, right? So now, if you look from this angle, so <laughs> where I was prior was on this side here. So I think I'm gonna flip it. That way when you're over here, you get to see more of the colors than versus, I'll show you really quickly. <laughs> when you're here and the color is a lot more muted. Let me know what you think. Did you guys know that? If you stand on the front or the back end of your rug, it'll give off a different, especially if it has like a sheen to it. So this is the color here. So if you're standing right next to the sofa, this is the color that you're gonna get. But then if you go and you stand this way, you see that the color just gets a lot more deeper. Do y'all see that or is it just me? I see it. I don't know, I feel like I'm feeling both, but I'm gonna show you what the rug looks like with the gray furniture, which is my swivel from my office. And then look how the color just kind of fades away. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the cream. So I do love the rug. The rug literally just made it in here five minutes ago. So I have to allow it to kind of settle. That way the line right here is gonna kind of disappear. Also, I have to get another rug mat simply because the one that I got was a nine by a 12, which was actually too small because this, this rug here almost measures at a 10 by, <clears throat> this rug here actually measures at a 10 by 13. I think now you guys are getting to really see the color on this in here, even though it's not as bright, but see, 
when I come here, you see that? It just kind of disappears. <laughs> and then let me just turn here so you guys can actually see the color. This so way, you see that? Uh, Y'all see that, right? So this is me standing by the bookcase. Then I'm going to turn. And this is me standing in the bookcases there. You see the difference in the color? So you guys, I really, really, really love this rug. It's so pretty. It has a turquoise, the like a navy blue kind of deep in the center, a lighter blue, some mustards, some browns, some creams, ivories, and also some grays. So even though you have that pop of color, for me personally, it's not too much that I'm just kind of like overwhelmed with it. I did mention in a previous video that this is actually in the same um design collection as the rug in my bedroom i y'all like i love that rug so much and now it has a rug pad underneath it and it's just such a different experience because like when i get up out of the bed it's really nice and cushioned and padded so the rug feels even better the reason why you want to have the pad is the actual pad and most of the beading and not the rugs that way you can kind of keep the rug a little bit longer I am going to link it in the description box. Let me just go ahead and say that I did make an investment with this rug, the rug in my bathroom, and also the rug in my bedroom. The rug in the loft is still an investment. I just didn't have to pay that $1,300 price tag. All right, you guys, so I'm currently in my living room. You guys see the rug in the pillow. What I want to do is put the picture over the fireplace. That way you guys can get a full look of it. I'm really excited. It's supposed to be here in another week. And my mirror is going to be here in about four days. So I'm really, really excited. Things are, like I said, slowly but surely. It's going to come together, y'all. It's going to come together. Just hang in there with me. I know it's the process. And we all had the process. But trust and believe, I'm the person that's dealing with more of the heartache of things. I am loving everything. I would have really hate to have to change my sofa. But the good thing is, I've already been looking online for a different sofa and I found something. Mine is currently discontinued. So if this can't be repaired or fixed, I do have to select something else. Like I said, I already kind of started that process. But yeah, I'm excited. Before I leave today's video, I wanted to mention one thing to you guys really quickly. Just in case, if it wasn't on your radar, maybe this will help you. So I've spoken about this so many times, which is... I don't have the money to do what I'm doing in my house. And what I mean by that is I still have to budget. I still have the monthly bills. I still have incidentals. I still have to save health insurance, life insurance, and all that, just like so many of you. And on top of all of that, I am doing this by myself. So I still have to budget. As you can see, I just did a quick little mood board. I have one on my phone and I also have a printout and I think in another video, I showed you guys um, the CAD drawing. So what I did is I shopped online for every single thing that I wanted for my living room. And I put it on the mood board and I looked at it. I looked at it every single day. It was downstairs. It's in my phone. So I'm constantly looking at it. If there's any changes, I go ahead and I make those changes. But also as time progresses, you know, month by month, I kind of figure out what can I buy. So right now I'm in a place where I'm trying to figure out, should I order my coffee tables or should I order my accent chairs? I think I'm going to go with the coffee tables only because regardless of how the design change, the coffee table nine times out of 10 is going to say the same. I do have a feeling that there is a good chance I may have to change my sofa out. I'm praying that I don't have to, but I don't want to get the accent chairs simply because they may not necessarily fit the new style of the design. I always go by the height of my sofa to kind of figure out the height of my chairs. So if the height change, then that changes the seats and everything like that. So Regardless to what your budget is, I will tell you what I've been telling you guys from the very beginning, which is number one, take your time. Number two, you want a budget. Number three, move extremely slow. And if you need to make adjustments, go ahead and make those adjustments. And then lastly, number five, 
do a little bit at a time. So if you do your coffee table one time, that's fine. You want to focus on accessories one time, that's fine. Because once the big things are in the house, the small things come extremely quick. And that's just how I do all of my designing in my home. I get the big things out the way and then I focus on the smaller things. Well, that's pretty much it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.